I, uh, I had made a statement earlier about how one can do kind of a timing of your computer's functions and you can do it at a um, place or a university uses a mainframe computer and it's just to prove to yourself that your computer it's as if you're placing your computer and I, I mentioned that uh, I mentioned desktop computers but I meant notebook computers so I hope nobody like made fun of me like you're having to tear your desktop computer out and set it up at the computer center at a university and I meant your notebook computer or your tablet or whatever you're using because all those things have programs on them that you can time once you start an any time you start an application it will have an average time that it starts up so like if you if you you can do it with any application on your computer but i suggested just your boot up um time your startup time for your computer because that's something that you always kind of end up experiencing and you know it has a duration and you know you can kind of time it eight seconds 12 seconds two minutes if you're using an older computer it, you know it might be in a matter of a minute or so or a minute or two but if you're using one of the newer and really fast computers you might be booting up in five five seconds three seconds eight seconds but it's something you can time over a number of times and i wanted uh i wanted to show people that they can have confidence that their computer is somehow using computer energy around it in order to compute when you're at a place like the technology center at um rock valley college but i also want to show that your mind is also connect see somehow your computer in physics it's called correlation of matter and it just means that when your computer's computing there and when the computers that are computing there actually they're actually correlating with the space-time energy around them to utilize root energies and in order to compute so like you could move the computers at the computer center you could move them outside and put them on another location on campus and then compare programs that they run and the time i predict would be different for them just as it would be different for your computer slightly it might only be slightly it might only be a second two seconds three seconds but if you're normally booting up in eight seconds and then you're at the computer center and you realize you're booting up in six seconds then you realize that your computer is somehow using computing energy that's in the very air there it's not you're not plugging into anything you're not connecting to anything Nature itself connects to all space-time when there are thinking things in it. And your computer is one of the thinking things, just as your mind is. But I want people who know their own mind to realize that when they're sitting there watching their computer booting up more quickly, that their mind and the way they're thinking about it is actually part of the equation. So, like, for example, you know, if, when you put a computer closer to your mind right now, the components in the computer are actually the size and shape of the components that are actually moving as electronical circuits in this right now because it's closer to my mind are there's a heavier gravity exerted on them which actually causes them to move at a different speed so this is also going to be true so like if you at home you can write down 20 multiplication problems and you can time yourself how long did it take me to do those 20 problems and you can come up with like five sheets of 20 problems and then you can put your times like measure hit your watch and then measure the time that it takes you to do each of five randomly selected say addition problems subtraction problems multiplication problems uh two variable equations three variable equations whatever you want to work with you know just if you want it to be simple make it just 20 addition problems that you work out and then you write down how long it takes you on average to do a sheet of 20 simple arithmetic problems but then go over to that site that i tell you about where they have a mainframe computer at a college and generate five random sheets and then put your average times down for computing those 20 items and you'll see that what the forces that are exerted on your computer and that alter your computer's time for booting up and causes it to boot up quicker also causes you to be able to calculate quicker because you're sitting there and so then you know that your computer is correlated to the mind uh to the compute your mind is correlated to the computer and your computer is correlated to the energy around it 
and there's something different about the energy at the building that you're calculating in to your own um to, that is that is common to the computer your mind and where the building is built so you this is a way of bringing yourself into the equation and actually showing the analogy of what your mind does and the computer does and how your mind's affected at that location so that it it's as if you're putting your mind in a more subtle medium uh, for actually like you're lube, like you're putting your mind in a co your mind which is like you just imagine it to be gears and wheels turning you're putting your mind in a medium that lubricates it and makes it move faster so like you're gonna be like wow whenever I generate five um, five pages of multiplication problems addition problems two variable equations my average time is 12 minutes to do 20 of them or my average time is 24 minutes to do 20 of them when I generate five sheets the average time but then you realize when you go to that place that I'm talking about whatever school it might be everybody has different schools at Rockford College they keep their computers in a different building than others but you're going to the building where they keep the mainframe computers and you're 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 trying to do your experiment as close to that building and those computers as you possibly can on the hypothesis that they're you that they're utilizing that energy at that location so I didn't want people to believe that it's only their computing machines that work that way I wanted them to see that their mind is one of those computing machines and that they can they can carry out the proof with respect to their computer and with respect to their mind and they can see that it's something in nature there because if they moved outside of that building and they moved to another building the further they got away from that building they would it would go closer to the time that it had wherever they started the experiment unless they happen to start the experiment in a location where there was a root and so their mind was really working that way already but this is a way that you can prove to yourself that what I'm saying about the roots energies say at the dance at folk and blues um, are affecting the human mind in the way we remember and the way we think but they're not possessing us because we have freedom but our mind works differently depending on where we are.